What's up guys, Kenska from KenskaArt.com, illustrator, creator, and author of Manga for Dummies and Figure Drawing for Dummies. I hope everyone is staying home safe. It's sure been a challenging time for everyone, I myself included. Uh, two young kids at home right now and we've had to transition into a full-time t-shirt mode with my wife, and which hasn't been easy. But being stuck at your studio doesn't mean there is an opportunity for growth. And so I want to challenge everyone, including myself, to keep growing and honing your art craft. So today I wanted to show you how just easily you can adjust your line with quality in Clip Studio Paint, both in vector and raster. And for those who are not familiar with those terms, vector is a line created based on algorithms, which doesn't lose quality in a line when you expand into larger sizes. Uh, raster, you get more subtlety in a depth quality of line, but when you expand beyond its limit, uh, it, it will lose quality. But luckily for us, Clip Studio Paint makes it very easy to adjust both quality of lines. And so just to demonstrate my point here, I've got this quick little uh, uh, a sketch I did earlier. And here I got the mountain in a, in a separate layer, the clouds, uh, the body, and some of the detail on the features. And so let's say if I wanted to go ahead and change some of the line quality, the thinness, the thicknesses, all I have to do is I will take a vector layer. This is, you can see right here, I have this, excuse me, this little symbol right here, which indicates it's a vector. And the ones that don't have that symbol is a raster layer. So let's say if I wanted to create a little depth of field in my, in my art by making these clouds in the background a little bit more thinner, all I have to do is choose the direct selection tool and it will give you a little brush size uh, option here and all you got to do is I'm going to drag it and you can see the line quality shifting right there. I can make it as thick as I want to or as thin as I want to. The choice is yours. I am going to choose it a little bit more thinner just so that it kind of pushes the foreground in that a little bit further. Uh, same thing, I'm going to take this guy's body. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker so he pops out a little bit more. Oop, too much. Like that. Um, and say if this mountain here, then this part out, the mountain part, while keeping the foreground intact in terms of width, uh, I can select this. I can go here and click the uh, select the the corrections tool right down here. It's below the the type. I want to click thicken, and all I gotta do is, oh, I'm sorry, thin because I want to narrow it. And as as I paint over it or draw over it you're going to find that it gets thinner. And that way I can select just the mountain without having to worry about affecting the uh, the foreground. I can even select which ones I want to choose. It's a little too thin. I can let's see if I want to not too much. No, that's too much. Decrease the intensity of how much I want to narrow the line. You can go as thin as you want. If you want to thicken some things out, you can thick, make it a little bit thicker. So it does take a little bit of uh, uh, playing around with to get it to the point that you feel that you have what you want. I'm going to thicken this part up a little bit since it's in the foreground. Let's see. Bird, I'm gonna push back a little bit. Click narrow. It's a little bit too narrow. Let me a little bit. Okay, it's not working as much as I'd like it to, but then again, it's a matter of tinkering the shapes that you want. Ah, oh, that's pretty much that's better. There, there's there's another way you can do it is through filter, um, correct line, and you can adjust the line width right here. 
and you can choose narrow, make it narrow or make it thick, your choice. So you can do it that way too if you want. Now what I like about Clip Studio Paint is you can see that the, the textures of the brush, it keeps that, it maintains that quality to it. One. And if you don't get what you exactly want, um, of course you can always have the option of going back and re-establishing some of the some of the uh, the line artworks to clarify your intentions. Okay, so no pro no program is is hundred percent perfect. It's up to you to go ahead and make the final statements. But it does make uh, your the process a lot easier in a sense that you don't have to go back and erase and re re, uh, re recreate the whole entire drawing over again. You have a little bit of leeway. So I hope that helps. If you like what you see, please click the subscribe button. Uh, make sure you turn the notifications on so you, you don't miss any new updates. And until then, in Christ, peace, bye. Hey guys, be sure to check out my recent graphic novel, The Foreigner Book 1 of 2, now on sale on my website, kenskeart.com. Also follow my Instagram at kenskeart for work updates before they hit my website.